What's happening everybody? This is Asasuke and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. Today, we're not going to be doing the daily. I'm going to be doing that in tomorrow's video. But we are definitely going to be doing some craziness here. I haven't really decided who I want to play. I want to try to get at least one good run in and I think we're going to try it with Rubble. But we are going to be doing a crown. Looks like we're going to be doing the crown of hatred. Take damage and radiation in opening chest. I think it's gonna end up working out pretty good. Okay. I don't know what happened there. It looks like we actually spawned into the radiation caster, which is curious. <laughs> but we got our little buddy helping us out. Let's see what we got. Ooh, the shovel. I mean, I'll take it. We got two radiation casters? That is weird. Why didn't we get two radiation casters? And I'm going to just hold on to our pistol for now. We're almost level 3 on the first damn floor. That's incredible. No crown of blood or anything. Um, Euphoria's looking good. I think we're going to take long arms because we're going to be stuck with this for a while. So we may as well make the most out of it. Yeah, it might be silly, but you know what? I don't think long arms is as bad as people give credit. Or as bad as this reputation is at least. Besides, I really, I like uh, the longer range stuff. Anytime you can add range to something, count me in. We're almost level 4 on the second level. It's incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and open this to get us down to 4. Now we'll automatically jump back up to 6. Scare your face is gonna prolong our shovel juice, so I don't see a reason in not getting it. And my favorite mutation is impact wrist. So naturally, you know we're going for it. We could have tried for the Oasis here, but I like thought about it one second too late, sadly. I'm gonna open this and this. The machine gun is gonna replace the revolver. Ow, that freaking Well, he like, I don't know, that's weird he did nothing. We get hit by a random maggot, surprisingly. Um I guess that's everything on the floor. Let's go ahead and go down. Looks like we're gonna be heading up to the sewers. Sadly, I could have made an even amount of health. That would have been smarter, but it's fine. Now, we just gotta take it slow, because we don't have trigger fingers to go over the shovel. But we do have the range necessary to, like, cope with that. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. Well, that assassin makes me question my decisions a little bit. <laughs> but he died because of our long-ass range. Um, I don't think we're gonna open the ammo chest. The splinter gun... Is actually really good. But we have so much ammo with the machine gun. You know what, I'm gonna just keep the machine gun for the fact that we have so much ammo. And we're primarily gonna use the shovel. Like, I wanna take the shovel till it can't go any further. Which, I mean, with longer arms, it's gonna last a lot. And we're done with sewers, wow. Kinda wish we had an explosive weapon to go down Pete's time and get some extra HP. We're gonna take this time to go ahead and pick up a bloodlust, maybe? No, let's go with Rabbit's Paw. I really like Rabbit's Paw. Anytime you can give me more drops, I'm gonna be happy. I don't know why this douche is awake. Didn't they fix you in that update? Oh, lots of work being done with this shovel. Scare your face. I'm gonna go ahead and open that with HP to get double the rats from it. Luckily, I saw that guy before he got into assassination range. Wow, I thought there was one more crow, that's why I did that, but that's fine. We're keeping a generally nice amount of HP. Not too much, not too little. I'm gonna blow this car up, just cause I feel like it's in an inopportune place for us. What are these up to? Not only cause he killed the sniper, but also I just didn't like the position of the car. I felt like he could've... A lot of these cars are actually in really bad positions. I'm happy we dodged that. I mean, I wasn't trying to actively dodge it, necessarily, but... It worked out. Talk toxic launcher isn't worth it. Go ahead and spawn this guy so we can get the uh, little bit of rads from him. Get level 6, that's pretty good. Higher ally rate of fire is actually fantastic, but the lucky shot's gonna go well with our shovel. Well, it's kind of a hard decision. I'm gonna go with the third butt though. Ooh, big explosions. I wasn't too excited about what that assassin was trying to tell me. He was trying to convince me of something that I didn't believe in. So I showed him up a little bit. Minigun was a very interesting proposition. 
So I don't know what that guy died by, but it's fine. He's already dead. We can take the minigun. I mean, why not? Actually, there's a heavy crossbow. That's also tempting. We're definitely going to replace what we have, though. Heavy crossbow looks like what we're going to be choosing. I, I mean, I like the minigun, but I don't know. we don't have the supporting mutations. And I don't, I don't feel like going on the wild goose chase to get the sporting mutations necessarily. And as long as we have longer, uh, long arms, I think we're gonna be fine to kind of. It's not cheesing, it really isn't. But to take these slowly, that was some bad damage. I got a little frightened. These guys actually deal like seven damage with contact damage, so you pretty much it's suicide to get too close to them. This, this floor is going extremely well and it's provided lots of uh, goodies. So I'm happy with that. There's the curse chest, which we will open. Plasma rifle, nah, I mean, I like what we got going this far. And it looks like we're out. That's pretty good. Everything went well there. Euphoria is probably what we're gonna go with here. If there were. Wow, we leveled up twice. That's incredible. Rhino skin or boiling veins. Probably gonna go with the boiling veins here. Now, as much as I do love the shovel, it's gonna be losing effectiveness really soon. I mean, we've taken it this far, and honestly, we've stretched it far past where it's supposed to be. But I mean, with long arms, it's it's done well. It's held a, it's held its own. I haven't been feeling like I've been going out of my way to carry the shovel. Like I actually felt like it's been useful this whole time. They have increased the use of flame throwing weapons, or just flame weapons in general. More, they are more fuel efficient, as said on the past notes. But uh, I still like what we have going. Nice double there. I want to get him to deal with this guy. This is scary as crap. <laughs> Worked out though. We're gonna use a few bolts here. Oh, that's the end. Laser cannon. Um. I'm a little scared of these upcoming battle with the little hunter. Maybe we can find a pretty good area to cheese him in though with our long arms. I'm kinda hoping that's the case. Cause if we don't find a good area to cheese him with our long arms, it's gonna be a little scary. Right now it's looking fine. Is this even the level of little hunter? I swear it was. Am I really wrong? Uh, this makes me really scared to advance, actually, because if it is the level of Little Hunter, and then we find ourselves in a bad position, like, just lose instantly. But I think I was just mistaken, honestly. Which is awesome and terrible, because I... It's awesome because we're going to be getting a whole lot more rats, but it's kind of bad. Oh, he's going to piss off that EPD. Damn robot. Nice, that's a good kill. At least we got the uh, HP from it. So now this is going to be the little launcher fight. The cluster launcher is not going to be what we want, but at least it comes down with us. Back muscle is probably going to be the best choice here. The open mind is an interesting proposition, because it would synergize with our crown, but... Man, I'm good with what we got. I don't like this area we're in. But it looks like we have a relatively clean slate here. Let's get the, the shot on, and then let's just back out for a second. Let's see if we can get a couple cheese shots on And he's dead, wow. We didn't even have to cheese him too hard, that was phenomenal. So, maybe I've been underrating long arms. Maybe it is a top tier mutation. I mean, if it can pretty much carry me with a singular weapon this far, like, that, that sounds like a good mutation to me. Upon going to the next couple levels, we do need to upgrade them. We don't- oh god, hi. Uh, if that was an auto crossbow, I would have been very happy. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Lightning pistol! Sadly, we can't drop our other weapon, but I think we need to do this to clear a lot of the small guys out. Because I don't think the shovel is going to be very smart to use the smaller guys. 
Oh, lightning pistol seems to be making good work. Smart gun is actually one of my favorite weapons. If you have supporting mutations, and that guy spawned inside of us, and we're trapped. I don't like being trapped. Trapped like a rat. Good HP though. Let's back out. Let's back out. That didn't go very well. Let's grab up the smart gun. So we got some of the ammo back. That's nice. We're gonna grab up the smart gun because it's gonna pack a little bit more of a punch. We accidentally. Oh my god, we killed ourselves. <laughs> it just shows the little crown. It's kind of cute, actually. Oh, uh, we were doing so well, but I accidentally walked into that fish. I think we're just gonna do that again. That was really fun, and I felt like we were about to hit level 10 before the round fight. And just imagine, imagine that deliciousness. I haven't really decided how I want to handle the, the level 10. You get one where you get two free bodyguards at the start of each level, but then you don't get any more pretty much. And then you get the other one is, uh, every time you take damage you spawn two instead of one. And I haven't really made up my mind. Oh, what? Why did this spawn with enemies here? I haven't really made up my mind on which one I think is better yet. I think we're going to go ahead and take the early throne butt. And let's try to take advantage of it by spawning an early ally too. Open this first up of course. I mean, if anything's gonna save us a little bit of ammo, he's gonna, of course, get us some free rads, which is nice. Heavy crossbow is actually really tempting, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. We've been doing a lot of curse weapons, which is not usually my playstyle, actually. The bloodlust is gonna synergize really well with both of what we have. So, it, it does kind of suck, because we have double reasons that we actually want to hurt ourselves right now, which is not a place you want to be in. You'd rather minimize the uh, reason you have to hurt yourself rather than maximize. I'm gonna walk in here and take care of these guys, mostly just to get away from the boss, to seek some refuge away from the. Oh, he ran into us. I didn't think he was gonna do a charge there, fair enough. I can't believe he just got dominated that hard by, uh. What's his face? That was intense. Normally he only charges through walls or if you get really close. When we were so far away, I was almost certain he wouldn't do a charge there. Well, it turns out how much I know, huh? He just laid the Dunk Master 9000 upon us. We already have really good weapons, so I'm really enjoying this start. Tons of rats. We're already two and a half. About two and three quarters, actually. We'll take Strong Spirit. Maybe we can prevent that from happening. It was a it was a silly play, and it was completely my fault. But maybe we can just prevent that from happening. So maybe a silly play won't cost us the entire game. So this costs us quite a bit of HP, but we can recover from it. If we play appropriately. All of that being said, I'm pretty happy with this run right now. We could use the Bloodlust. The Bloodlust honestly filled me with so much confidence and hope from that previous run, I'm really sad it ended that early. Long arms? I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? It probably won't work as well with the wrench. Unless we were to get supporting mutations for him. Like scary face and all that business. He's gonna charge. So we're just gonna get out of the way. Not have a repeat from the last time. I actually didn't expect him to do that. Alright, he's dead. We did take a little bit of a gamble. Um, using the, the wrench that much against the boss. Ended up working out. Not feeling bad about it at all. Are we using long arms as a crutch at this point? Hey, you tell me. I mean... Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you were here to judge me. Come on now. I can feel all your judge your judgment raining down upon me. I don't think the throne butt's very good. It just encourages us to hurt ourselves even more. Sadly, we want both of these, but we'll start with the rabbit's paw and move on to the strong stomach if it ends up rolling back in the uh, mutations. We want scarier face, so we can continue to use our long arms wrench combo into future levels. And of course it won't last nearly as long as our, uh, even I know, not to approach a man with a shotgun with a melee weapon. It doesn't matter what mutation you have, if you approach a man with a shotgun with a melee weapon, he's gonna beat your ass. Pretty sure everybody knows that. Or if not, that's something we definitely probably need to learn. And it looks like we learned our lesson. Let's go ahead and get on here. Maybe we can just like cheese this guy through the wall. It's like we can, but it's pretty nice. 
At least we didn't have to deal with this infinite spawning bullcrap. Are you a... You're not even a mimic. What are you doing now? Oh, hi! <laughs> I didn't even see that bandit there. He's so sneaky. I do believe we set up max ammo for a while. Let's go for the back muscle. Now, it's going to take two shots to kill all the stuff here, which is really bad. But I'm hoping that we can abuse terrain to uh, take advantage of it as much as possible. Anytime we can get free kills like that, I'm gonna feel pretty good about our ideas. Of course, it gets more and more deadly as time goes on, right? And I knew that wasn't the last enemy, it was still scary to walk over it. Even when I knew it wasn't the last enemy, I was like, I shouldn't be close to this car. But it ended up working. Scary face is absolutely the number one mutation on our minds right now. If we loop this late into the video, it's going to be a long video, so I will apologize ahead of time if that does happen. But I'm not I'm not actually expecting it, but I mean, it would be a happy accident if it happened. Because as much as I, I don't like overdoing it with the video link, I love freaking... I love looping, and I love playing at nuclear ground, so... You know, this is positives and negatives. Uh, that was kind of exciting. Oh, we took damage. We're using the wrench too much. It's gonna kill us. Oh, we can't do it. We can't do it. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. I don't like this scenario at all. So the IDP are gonna be hella pissed. But I honestly don't think there's much we could have done to avoid that. As long as we make it to the next floor, we're gonna be fine on HP. I am gonna check this now because I am literally... That is the millionth laser pistol in a row. If we could just, uh, stop. Oh, it opened it, I'm crazy. Okay, we're gonna get lots of HP back there. We are level 6 in Bloodlust, thank you. Uh... If you aren't as scared as I am right now, you probably don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I can't believe that guy snuck those shots out, but at least we have the Bloodlust to pay out a little bit. I'm gonna shoot these cars. At least a lot of ammo doing so, but I think it's going to be better to go ahead and get these off the field so when the uh, big dog goes ahead and arrives, he won't accidentally blow them up on us. Sounds like he's activated by the sound of the music! Ah, oh, we weren't fast enough to get away from that. I would like some extra feet, please. Oh, hi! That was unfortunate. I did not see Mr. Assassination face there. Every time he moves forward so we can get double strikes on him with the uh, wrench. And it ended up working out. Wrench is obsolete. Don't even look at it. We're done with it. Whatever energy weapons these are, we, we're picking them up. The wrench cannot be used any further. I love it. I love long arms. But it's just not happening. He said, he said, he said he's not going to use the wrench anymore. What's he doing? He's making a fool of himself. What's he doing? He's crazy. It's not the daily run. Give me, give me a... Uh, Cut me a break. Cut me some slack. Cut me something here. If it were the daily run, I'd probably have dropped the wrench. But... YOLO? Hashtag screw it. It takes three frickin' hits to kill these guys right now. We have, like, no DPS weapons at all. This is very frightening. I want those rads, man! You're gonna have to quit what you're doing and give me those damn rads. Or I'm gonna take them. Alright, Sledgehammer, not what we're looking for. I mean, I'm since it's not the daily and I've already committed to this retardation I'm doing, YOLO? Is, I mean, is it YOLO or is it suicide at this point? That is the real question. It was suicide. <laughs> uh, why do I do these things I do? Alright, so, last run. Definitely gonna be a crown of guns on steroids. So if this loops, this is going to be the longest video I've ever recorded. If it doesn't loop, then yeah, we can pretty much guess how it's going to be done. That's really nice. So the idea behind steroids fun run with kind of guns, we're going to be trying to drop two of the same gun. And with two of the same gun, we're going to be hoping for a lucky shot, we're going to be getting the throne butt, and we are also going to be wanting back muscle or whatever else we need. Or we could just find double, uh, double melee and long arms <laughs> and just make this the episode dedicated to melee honestly I'm fine with it 
like we find a grenade launcher here. Uh, I mean, if we got two of them, I'd be okay with it, but it doesn't look like that's happening yet. We'll go ahead and pick up the bolts. I don't know why I thought that was going to happen. <laughs> I guess that was optimism. Alright, so there's one half of what we need from, but automatically makes any two of our combos a lot better. Go ahead and kill these two guys. Sounds like... Oh, we have to do it. Shit. Hey, get off. You don't get it. Now, we immediately want to upgrade these wrenches as soon as we can. And what we want to upgrade them to is double sledgehammer. At the very worst, we can do double shovel. Anything worse than those two, we don't want to mess with. Like, we aren't going to do any um, screwdriver ridiculousness. This also means on the market for anything to increase melee weapons. Long arms. Machine gun is not increasing melee weapons. Uh, scarier face. All that kind of business. We're naturally going to get hit often with double melee, so we do need to go bloodlust. And it, it's something you kind of understand going into double melee. You know you're going to get hit. It's just a matter of when, how, and why. I mean, did you get hit with justified damage, or is it unjustified damage because you made a mistake? The dream is that it's all justified damage, but uh, we, we don't live in that dream. We just have to make sure we hold Sledgehammer. That's really good. So we need to have our fast DPS weapon in our in our first slot. Then we're going to have our slow one in the second slot. That's normally just... I mean, you don't have to do that, but that's how I generally play steroids. Just so I can kind of remember what I got going on. Wow. I don't know why that came over here. That's interesting. Where is it? Oh, wow. But yeah, now we have like one of the really good weapons that we were looking for previously. Um, I guess Sharp Teeth is probably going to be the best here, just because... I know, Sharp Teeth being the best, what am I talking about? Oh, hi. The reason Sharp Teeth is going to be so good. Now, this is the scariest part. The When you commit to this run, your highest priority for death is, um... Not these guys, which it looks like it probably should be, judging on how that went. But it's the damn snipers. The snipers explode on contact. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna sit here for a minute and contemplate life. Shoot at me. Shoot at me, do it. Okay, so we just knocked the shots back into us. And I'm not gonna go in that room. That wasn't even the last enemy. Oh Jesus, what is this madness? Well, it's like a splinter pistol came down with us. Second stomach is where we're going here. Um now what we want, we want those mutations we were talking about earlier. Scary assassin. I do you got pissed off, but we ended up murdering uh, a little bit. All of them. That works out. Oh, we actually knocked every single one of that guy's shots back into him. I wish we had the uh, double bazooka run of dreams going right now. It's actually my favorite kind of run. Went ahead and one-shot them when they came out the Oh, what's up? Oh, the shotgun guy. The shotgun guy is literally the most dangerous IDPD man in the game for his double melee. Luckily, the sniper actually assassinated him for us. Thank you. Your worst enemy is also your greatest ally, it seems. Can I go ahead and knock another shot back, maybe? Oh, a little too early. Nice. I think that is the safest way of dealing with that. It's debatable. That was bad. Let's, let's retreat a little bit here. Smart gun? Yeah. I mean, I mean, did we pussy out? That's the question. I think we did pussy out, actually. At the same point in time, if you ask me if I really gave a crap, I don't. So, that's him dead. Aw, oh, man. Now I feel terrible because another sledgehammer dropped. Ah, we'll trade out our sledgehammer for a sledgehammer. <laughs> that makes me so sad, actually. That, like, legitimately makes me sad. The double sledgehammer is the key to victory. Okay, can, can we just, like, get a long arms or something here? Let's 
so this is scary. I was kind of hoping for a melee weapon here, but it turns out no dice. I am gonna just waste as, many, as much ammo as we need. I'm hoping we can cleanse this sometime soon so we can just drop it for another sledgehammer. I mean, I know sledgehammers don't grow on trees, but maybe if they did, I'd love to have one. I'm still looking for pure me for pure melee mutations, honestly. And we just aren't getting any. I'm actually surprised. Normally, the melee mutations always show up because they're like, you know what? Nobody would take these. But I guess they saw what I was doing and they're like, immediately put all of them. Away. Here, take all of them away. Right? Oh, he hit us through the wall. Very unhappy about that. Stuff. Nine times out of ten, I would be pissed off. Without long arms, this is getting a little rough. Our the reach is so low. Drop the car, please. It's a uh, that's a nice trick. Nuke launcher. I mean, I feel I feel like we already betrayed what we were going for. If I if I could go back in time and redo that, I promise I would definitely do that differently. But who could have known? Look at those uh, bodies they draw, by the way. That's pretty good. I guess stress. I mean, rabbit paw is pretty much a must, though, because we're so low on HP. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. This is, this is over. They put a fucking grenade in here with us, too. I can't believe it. I'm so surprised at what's happening. We're out of ammo though, so... I guess the idea is to bait people in us at this point. Okay, we have to, we have to play slow. Bait them into us and then just take them out one at a time. Because we know they're gonna charge, it's just a matter of when they're gonna charge. Auto crossbow is actually really tempting, but I said I said we're going double melee. Damn it! I said it. Can we? I'm going. I'm going for the cleanse. I'm pretty sure this still works. Kazoom! You tell him steroids. This yeah that can't that canceled the uh, thing on it. So we can still go for the. I thought we had a crown, didn't we? Guns contain more HP. I swear we had one. Yeah, we had the crown of guns. So, sadly we are against Little Hunter. So, that went pretty damn well. I want him to jump back in here with us. Oh, and he just assassinated us with the perfect hits. And he laughed at us! What a... What a bad word. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate everybody for watching. Check out the other content on the channel. We have... Um, Isaac, which is going really well. We just had a really close run that scared my frickin' heart out of my chest. We also have some Darkest Dungeons, which is going fantastically. I'm just enjoying that series to the fullest effect possible. And always come back for more daily Nuclear Throne and Isaac. But <laughs> I hope to see you guys around the channel. Peace, guys.